AJ from 8 Days a Geek and this is In Under 10 Minutes. We gave you a poll of four films and you guys chose... Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. Yeah! It's the big one. I've wanted to do a video on this film for a very, very very long time. I like this film a lot, but to get it in under 10 minutes is going to be pretty hard. So let's bada bing go. Having acquired the Power Stone, Thanos intercepts the Asgardian survivor's ship. Loki gives up the Tesseract to save his brother's life, Thor. As Thanos extracts the Space Stone from the Tesseract, we have a Hulk. Hulk and Thanos have a massive brawl, a massive fight. There's punching and more punching, and the Hulk gets beat. The Hulk gets beat! Thanos then kills Loki. Loki is actually dead this time. He actually is. Heimdall then sends Hulk back to Earth using the Bifrost, and Thanos and his followers leave the Asgardian ship and destroy it with Thor inside. Hulk then crash lands at the Sanctum Sanctorium, going back to his Bruce Banner self. He then warns Wong and Doctor Strange about Thanos, and they then recruit Tony Stark. Moore and Obsidian arrive in New York and attempt to take the Time Stone from Doctor Strange, which attracts Peter Parker. Spider-Man. Spider-Man comes as well, joins in the fight. Hulk just doesn't come out. Moore then captures Doctor Strange and Peter Parker and Tony Stark then sneak aboard his ship. Into outer space! In Edinburgh, Wanda and Vision are ambushed by two of Thanos' followers. They are trying to retrieve the Mind Stone from Vision's forehead. Steve Rogers, Natasha Romanoff and Sam Wilson then rescue them and take them back to the Avengers compound. Vision asks Wanda to destroy himself so that Thanos cannot retrieve the Mind Stone. She says no. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Rogers then suggests that they go to Wakanda because he believes that they have the technology to remove the Mind Stone without killing Vision. <laughs> the Guardians of the Galaxy then respond to a distress call by the Asgardian ship. They find it completely destroyed, but they manage to rescue Thor. Thor then believes that Thanos will be looking for the Reality Stone, which is in the possession of the Collector on Nowhere. Rocket and Groot then accompany Thor to go and visit Tyrion Lannister, who creates Stormbreaker. A battle axe, a Thanos killing weapon. The rest of the Guardians then arrive on Nowhere where it is revealed that Thanos already has the Reality Stone in his possession. He then kidnaps Gamora. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, then reveals where the Soul Stone is in order to save her adopted sister's life, Nebula. On Vormir, the Stonekeeper, Red Skull, reveals that you can only acquire the Soul Stone after sacrificing something that you love. Thanos then kills Gamora, acquiring the Soul Stone. Beautiful scene. I'm not even gonna make a joke. It's a beautiful scene. God, please, no! Nebula escapes captivity and asks the remaining Guardians to meet her at Thanos' homeworld, Titan. Stark and Peter Parker rescue Doctor Strange using a very interesting technique from the film Aliens. Get away from her, you bitch! They land on Titan and then meet the Guardians of the Galaxy. Doctor Strange then uses the Time Stone to look at millions of different outcomes and only finds one where they can beat Thanos. Only one. The group then makes a plan to subdue Thanos and take the Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos then turns up and it kicks off. There are... It's, everything's going everywhere. Peter Parker's saving everyone. Our Iron Man's having a proper go. Um, they manage to then subdue Thanos for a little moment, but then 
Quill finds out that Thanos has killed Gamora, so then he starts again, and it's kicking off, and it goes mental, to the point where Stark is really badly wounded, and Doctor Strange gives up his Infinity Stone. Thanos then buggers off. In Wakanda, Rogers is then reunited with the White Wolf, Bucky, and they then plan to take the Mind Stone out of Vision's forehead whilst they mount a defence against Thanos' army. Thanos' army then arrives, it is kicking off very big, Banner is in the Hulk Buster, which is just fantastic. Thor then arrives, I tell you what, I'm not even going to explain this bit, it's much better if you watch it. <laughs> Whilst Vision is having his little forehead operation, one of Thanos' followers then comes in, destroys them all. Vision has to fight him off. It's pretty big. Vision is now out in the open completely. Thanos then arrives in Wakanda, but Maximoff is able then to destroy Vision and the Mind Stone. But wait a second! Thanos has the Time Stone! So he just goes back in time takes out of Vision's head, killing Vision, and he now has all six of the Infinity Stones. Thor then comes out of nowhere and, I won't say what I was about to say, severely wounds Thanos. <laughs> but Thor should have gone for the head and Thanos just, and then teleports away. Half of all life in the universe is then disintegrated, including a lot of the Avengers and a lot of the Guardians of the Galaxy. We then get a last shot of Thanos in his garden watching the sunset rise. And that is the end of Avengers Infinity War. Obviously I can't put everything in because this video has to be in under 10 minutes, but I remember being in the cinema watching this and being pretty speechless. This was incredible. Thank you to the Russo brothers for making this film because not a lot of many people thought this film could ever be made. It's amazing how this film wasn't confusing there were so many lead characters in this film, but yet we still knew exactly what was going on. If I was to give this film a rating, I would give it a strong, strong, and it's close, a 9.5 out of 10. Everything in this film I love. I don't think there's one thing that I dislike. So, thank you very much guys. I've been AJ from 8 Days a Geek, and this has been In Under 10 Minutes. Please like comment and subscribe on this video. Please do make sure that you check out our podcasts as well. Uh, you can find the link on 8 Days a Geek Instagram channel. But for now, I've been AJ Jenks. Thank you very much. Ba 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 I ain't got nothing but love, babe. 8 Days a Geek